What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at what you need to let go of. These messages are going to be coming directly from your shadow self. Okay, so anytime we let go or we rid or we release or detach something, it's usually because we are ascending or evolving. So these are going to be messages from your shadow self regarding what you need to let go of. But also when you let go of whatever is here for you today, I definitely feel like there are going to be blessings coming in. So I'm not going to just leave you with the messages of what you need to let go of, but I'm also going to tell you why and what's coming in after you release or let go of this. So I definitely feel like I'm hearing like you're going to be recouped what you've lost. So this isn't just letting go of things, sacrificing things, because I'm hearing even that that word's pretty big for just anything. This is for your desires and your passions to come for. So I am going to be leaving you guys with some encouraging messages on when you let go of this, what is coming in for you. OK, so we have four different decks that you can choose from. You can also choose your chapter down below or find the pinned comment for which deck you feel like resonates most with you. We have four different decks you can choose from. We have deck number one deck number two deck number three and deck number four all right let's jump into the reading and see what it is that you need to let go of all right if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and what you need to let go of okay so the first thing that I have here for what you need to let go of is anything that's not bringing you peace. Okay. Anything that's unsettling. We also have anger and chains. Okay. I also feel like if you chose this deck, you could be an empath. Okay. That also means that most of the situations that you're going through and even the people that you're dealing with, their energy is more so of what you're learning how to have boundaries with your own energy otherwise you absorb it so i feel like these circumstances that you're going through they are teaching you how to remain true to who you are regardless of what the outside circumstances are okay so we have this person is surrounded by thorns okay they are they're peaceful amidst everything going on Okay, so usually all of these events and circumstances that you're currently going through, let's get some more information on that. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. It's teaching you how to remain who you are regardless of the outside circumstances. Because if you change based on every surrounding or environment around you, you become a chameleon, right? You adapt to your environment, then you're not being true to yourself. Okay, so I definitely feel like even with the Ten of Wands, letting go of what you can no longer control. Okay, we're going to get some more information on that. Ten of Pentacles, I definitely see that there is a job situation here in the Magician. Okay, so this feels really good. Love. We also have clinging to the past. Okay, and I want to clarify. So with the Wheel of Fortune here, this tells me that when you make this decision to let go of this ending let's see what this ending is ten of wands let's clarify for deck one why is this here thank you four of cups okay it's an ending that's happening but it wasn't bringing you fulfillment okay it could be a job situation it does not have to be let's get some more information on the ten of pinnacles why is the ten of pinnacles here thank you the moon pisces you could be a pisces you don't have to be Okay, you can also be an Aries. That's another sign I'm picking up um, right away. You don't have to be, but the moon is here. Okay, so I don't see that you see this coming, right? When you let go of whatever this is that's not bringing you satisfaction, it could definitely be a job, okay? Page of Cups, because I see that something new is going to be coming in, okay? So you're not just releasing this for nothing. You're going to be releasing this so that you can receive an offer that's going to bring you more of an emotional fulfillment. We have the four of cups here. This would be dissatisfaction. Okay. Just imagine you ranking a meal that you just ate a four out of a 10. That's what the four of cups is. It's dissatisfaction. So anything that's bringing you dissatisfaction, your spirit will give you certain nudges okay because i definitely feel like you're an empath and you're also manifesting something so whatever it is that you're letting go of this ending okay let's see why the the five of cups is here 
five of cups thank you okay could definitely have been a, a relationship or a situation that was once bringing you fulfillment at one point and is no longer doing that that's another thing that i'm getting here It's crazy how I said a four out of a 10, right? Because now the 10 of cups was the card that was just flying over there, okay? You are being recouped. You are going to see the recoupers. <sighs> Gosh, what is the word I'm looking for? You will reap all of what you've lost, okay? Even in your relationships. I'm seeing that something new is coming in. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. This is a wish come true, but spirit is definitely saying to release something. What else do they need to release? We know the past sorrow, what didn't work out. Okay, whatever didn't work out, you are releasing it. We have the nine of swords, whatever's keeping you up at night. Okay, uh, we definitely have... six of wands success coming in for you okay spirit what do you want them to know about this traveling okay you do have another opportunity that's coming in here that's going to bring you success what you need to release is what's not bringing you happiness what's making you feel have a a bad taste in your mouth okay what's not satisfying with the four of cups here I also feel like your financial situation is getting ready to change. Okay. We have two tens here, tens of pentacles, tens of cups. So you're releasing what is out of your control and trusting that you're on the right path. Even in this job situation, let's get information on the job. Okay. Page of swords and also this relationship, eight of cups. Yeah. Okay. So some of you are walking away from something. Okay. Take it how it resonates. It could be a person. I'm, I'm even, I'm feeling for many of you, you could be resonating with both of that. Okay. The page of swords here, there is some type of, uh, communication or another job opportunity that's kind of lurking. Okay. So those of you who are looking for a financial change, I definitely see that it's going to turn in your favor with the wheel of fortune. Okay. So let's see why anger is in chains is here. Thank you. The Hierophant, Seven of Swords, yeah. So this is just everything that has happened that's transpired in the past. Spirit is wanting you to let go of it for a new beginning. It's like you weren't, you're not the same. You are constantly changing and evolving. And everything that you have that's like low frequency here that's like oh really heavy is everything that's happened in the past it's not exactly what's happening in the present moment as much as it is in the past or having just this realization of certain things that you have to walk away from because what i'm sensing here is that you're manifesting a completely new beginning okay we have the magician here let's see what they're manifesting wheel of fortune yeah good luck is on your side Okay, so whenever it is that you let this go and stop dwelling on the empty cups, maybe certain situations that didn't work out, certain things that are not bringing you satisfaction, this wheel of fortune is bringing in something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, it's a passion. It's something that you're very connected to. Okay, it could be something that you've been dreaming about doing. Um, it's getting back to yourself. Okay, there's been some distractions that I'm seeing here that really needed to be let go of so that you can get back on the right track, even with manifesting more finances for you for yourself. Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for deck one for what they need to release? temperance okay sagittarius energy on the board we also have an ace of one and the nine of cups yeah something is coming in for you so some of you who already released this i feel like this blessing is coming into you now this blessing is going to be an opportunity let's see more about what's coming in thank you yeah nine of swords ace of wheels thank you spirit for always coming through because we have an opportunity here, okay? And it's coming very, very fast with the Knight of Swords. It might not even be something that you were looking for, something that you were asking for, but as you release, you are making room for something that you're manifesting, which is more abundance in your life, more security, loyalty, love, okay? You've learned enough. That's what I'm sensing. 
Spirit is saying you've learned enough from the things that you've experienced. Now is the time to embrace new. Now is the time to embrace what you really want, which is the fulfillment, which is satisfaction here. You had to walk away from some things that weren't bringing you happiness, that weren't bringing you the financial, financial stability that you were even looking for also. But we do have an ace of wheels coming in. Okay, we also have an, a wand. Some of you may even be in the next few months getting a new car. Some of you may be getting a new house, something tangible. Okay, it's coming in very, very fast because you made room for it. Okay, what you let go of, the sorrow, the emptiness that happened in the past, looking forward, shifting your energy to the future. Okay, this is going to allow you to travel more and also explore. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of water signs here, a lot of inquisitiveness that you have to see and and just, you know, you have this curiosity for life, this this excitement here. Okay, and spirit definitely wants you to go after that. So I do see that there's going to be something that's coming in. All you're to do is to remain peaceful among everything that's happening. And it's kind of an illusion because everything that's happening is only inside of here. I said I said here, but you can't see my head your head it's inside your head okay it's it's on the past does not exist only in a imaginative world and of memories do we connect with something that has already happened so the past only exists if, if you allow yourself to live there okay but this is no longer going on it's only going on when you start thinking about it then you start feeling all of the energy again come back so you're learning how to release okay we have the higher font we have taurus energy here as well we have pisces we have taurus we have sagittarius we have aries energy okay all water sign energy for sure okay so you guys are coming into a reconciliation with with your true self with your higher self so your shadow self has been i guess you can say struggling to trust the wrong people Okay, let's get some more information. Yeah, we have the heart chakra peeking through. Okay, with the seven of swords. All right, any other messages for deck one? Yeah, love it. The truth, yeah. So you're getting ready to have a reconciliation if you haven't already with your higher self. And what that feels like is you can dream about your true self it's usually when you're imagining your greatest version of yourself in the greatest life that you can imagine for yourself. Okay, that's when you're going to see this. So you're getting ready to have a reunion with just how who you are. Yeah, I feel like there's this, this a lot of chakra uh, stuff coming through here. Okay, we have the heart chakra coming through. Now we have the solar plexus chakra. This is all about knowledge of oneself literally the more you learn about yourself the more that these new opportunities are going to come about because i feel like your past is recognizable by your shadow self and these new opportunities that are coming in they're going to recognize your greatest version of yourself your higher self okay this is when you are in alignment with what you love this is when you are passionate recognition and reward some of you guys are getting ready to either start a youtube channel or create content or get in front of people you're a light okay you could have definitely resonated with another deck but i'm sensing that you are letting go of the dark some of this is not even yours to carry it's other people's doing so what this is doing for you after you release it is it's having people are going to recognize this shift in your life if you have not already taken the shift but the wheel is in your favor the wheel of fortune is in your favor so let's see if there's anything else emotional withdrawals at the bottom okay something's getting ready to shift here we have emotional loss five of cups again so some of you guys could definitely be going through a heartbreak but i'm just sensing that it's not going to last very long if you've already went through it Okay, it could just be, sometimes it's just a bittersweet moment. It doesn't have to be a heartbreak, but some of you could have definitely lost someone, okay? Could have lost someone or felt like you've lost someone even if they're here. But I'm just seeing that every single time I get this card, there's balance that comes in with celebration. You know, every time I get your cards that are coming up, the moon, subconscious things are coming to the surface, more things are being revealed to you. 
And as they're being revealed to you, anything that feels like a thorn is what you're releasing. This is going to get you closer and closer to peace, closer and closer to love. So you have an opportunity coming in here. It's a passion. Okay. It's something you could have been dreaming about, about there's recognition, there's reward here. I'm hearing that some of you could have been sleeping on yourself not knowing as much power as you do have. So spirit wants to bring you back to yourself. In order to do that, you're just releasing what no longer belongs to you. Okay, and that's anything that brings you a lack of peace, anything that gets you riled up with anger. Allow this to be an alertness of what needs to be released instead of falling deep into that energy right we allow ourselves to get angry but just enough to realize okay we're angry i'm aware there's no need to be angry you know and, and come back to that place this is what you're learning this is this is a maturity that you're learning here even with just releasing this okay any last messages spirit anything else i need to let go of one more card thank you possibilities breakthrough you're getting ready to have a breakthrough. Let go of the route or the possibility that didn't work. There's more than just two doors. There are so many doors to success, so many doors to love here. And spirit is definitely allowing you to do that, but not being afraid of losing something, even with the four of cups, not being afraid that if I let this go or if, if I let this person go, that I'm not going to receive that love anymore or will I feel that anymore? Or will I have that feeling? Yes, that feeling is within you. It's who you are. So yeah, this is some deep, deep spiritual stuff that's happening. I feel like you guys are going through some shadow work, but there's so many blessings that are around you. You have brand new opportunities that are coming in, something that is going to bring you a reward, something that's going to allow you to shine your light. So you will have a breakthrough here very soon. This breakthrough is in perspective. Okay. And the strength that you do have. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in everything you needed to, to let go of from your shadow self. And also all of the messages for what's coming in when you do let go of this. So you have a lot of joy, a lot of happiness coming in and a lot of opportunities that are leading you straight to love and abundance. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback or comments to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys saw deck number two, this is your reading and what your shadow self wants you to release. Okay. Overall energy faded to suffer. Is this me? And envious. Okay. All right. Some of these cards came up in my last reading as well. So you guys could have definitely resonated with exactly what you need to hear but I'm definitely sensing, let's look at what you're going through. The Eight of Swords is here, so there is a need to, to release and let go of this uh, thought process that you have about things working out for you. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. Okay, it's the, it's the negative talk, it's the doubt, it's the self-sabotage, it's getting in your head, talking yourself out of good things that are coming. Something is coming in here with the Ace of Wands. This is a new opportunity for you and passion it's a new energy that's coming in for you let's see deck two what do you want them to release shadow self thank you hope and your spiritual union so spirit wants you to release everything that is not of your spiritual union Okay, and your spiritual union is just the positive, the good, okay? And then also hope. So when I feel the release, I feel like this is more of like a, you know, going to the top of the mountain and shouting that type of release. This is more of like a, um, a release of hope. Spirit wants you to have more of a hopeful mindset here, okay? And that is actually when you're hopeful, you are in alignment with your spirit. When you feel good about something and you're hopeful, you're optimistic about it, then you're in alignment. Even if it doesn't work out for you, you still know, okay, well, this isn't the right door. Just keep going on my journey and I'll be led and I trust that I'll be led with my intuition to the right door. So you are definitely being uh, guided to be more open towards hopeful outcomes in your life, okay? Let's also see the Ace of Wands here. 
okay yeah we have joy we have the white newman which is all about embracing joy and having an optimistic outlook on life okay let's confirm why the eight of swords is here okay so it's like the doubtful part of you isn't you that's what you're learning to release and of course yes nobody's perfect you will have many different levels there are different levels of doubt okay once you know you can do something you have confidence in it the doubt goes away we have the devil capricorn energy okay so you're releasing something okay that is bringing some type of suffering ten of swords it will come to an end what is this devil card here for okay could definitely be codependent ways feeling like you need someone to make you happy and the reason why i say that we have the two of cups here is because there is power in not having to need someone for happiness okay it's not even about them at this point it's about you and i love you enough to tell you that it is the most powerful thing when you don't have to depend on receiving this good good feelings of serotonin serotonin is what i'm feeling like these endorphin feelings of feeling in love you know when you have those butterflies and you're excited about that that two of cups so basically spirit is saying that this can be generated through yourself alone without the need of someone to bring that to you okay this is a different level here. So there's definitely an ending that's happening, but there's a beginning that's happening. Okay, so on the opposite end, let's get some more on the devil because the devil is usually, you know, entrapment. We have the high priestess, follow your intuition and the lovers. Yeah, this could definitely be a love situation. So spirit is saying that your, your connection with your own heart and your soul, that is, you know, when you release all of these feelings here, because I have envy, um, I have that maybe certain relationships could bring certain things out. Okay, that's something I'm getting to. But it's almost like you're learning to see the, the, the light of things. Okay, not focusing so much on the bad, not, not focusing on so much of what didn't work out. This is all about changing your perspective and focusing on what is going good, okay? And sometimes that could be hard to do when it feels like everything around us is falling apart. But your spiritual union, the, the, the connection that you have with your own heart and soul is what spirit wants you to have so that you don't feel like you need it from anywhere else, okay? It's more of a self-sufficient feeling. Let's see what else you need to let go of. We have maturity. So you're going through a maturing stage even with your finances, Spirit wants you to turn in, okay? Two of cups, okay? You have a life partner. Whether you feel like you've met them already or not, you do have a partner that I'm sensing very, very heavily. You do have a soul tribe. You do have a union. There are people that love you, deck two. <laughs> That's basically what your, your shadow self is being ignited into a different version of you that's why we have is this me okay because it, it could have been something you picked up even as a child of just thinking that oh this is too good to be true um anything that brings that heaviness of feelings when good things happen for you that's why i was saying self-sabotage is what you're learning to release because that's not that's not you those are your fears and your fears took on an entire identity and that identity creates and makes decisions. And the next thing you know, our reality, we look around and we're like, oh, how did I get here? Because you were so afraid to take that leap there, you just settled for here based on your fears. And so Spirit is saying, this is about discovering who you truly are. Your shadow self is the one who is being your shadow self is being transformed into the light okay so i do think that you know we'll look for the judgment card we'll look for um another major arcana card but i definitely feel like you could be going through a spiritual awakening and this is is getting you to let go of everything that doesn't belong to you okay and envy is something too you are going to have everything that you desire okay so that's something too let's see what else is here what do they need to release deck Thank you. Deck two. Okay, we have the moon. Pisces energy. This is the second time it's come up. Okay. 
So it's so crazy because everybody is releasing, but everyone is gaining. And I love it because I want to be sad slightly like, oh, okay, yeah, you have to, but I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited for what's to come after you get past this. So what is it that they're releasing? Five of swords, yeah. So this is all about healing, okay? Being hard on yourself, being hard on yourself, okay? Your spirit, your soul is perfect. So there's a lot of self-knowledge that spirit wants to bring to you and is bringing it through certain circumstances, okay? Let's see why the lovers is here for deck two. Three of cups, four of wheels. Let's see why the three of cups is in reverse. Eight of cups, okay. Yeah, definitely the second time I'm getting walking away from people, okay? You take it how it resonates. We definitely have a love situation here. What is it about the love relationships for deck two? Why does this keep coming up? Some uh, Something's telling me to, yeah, you're manifesting a soulmate, deck two. Yay! So I don't know what's going on in your love life, but I mean, the five of swords is here. There, there has been some disappointment here in love. There has been some disappointment with attracting um, the right people. But what's crazy is that when you go through this transformation and you release the shadow version of yourself, right? The, the version that does not resonate with you. But it's crazy because some of these things might have sneak have gotten into your mind in a sneaky way to make you believe that you weren't good enough, weren't going to be able to do it, weren't going to succeed, or, you know, all of those thoughts keep creeping into your subconscious and you're learning not how to reprogram because it's not that hard. It's just asking yourself, do you really believe this about yourself and what you deserve and being honest? And then if it's a if it's truly in your heart a no, I believe I deserve better, then you can let those thoughts go. Okay, and you're learning how to release by just not no longer holding on, no longer giving attention to. Okay. Instead of doubt, we're gonna give our attention to hope. That's that's it. That's the only switch. So I don't want you to think that you have to reprogram so much, but you're you're definitely manifesting a soulmate and soulmates. But when you go through this trans transition, and you release your shadow version of yourself, the one that sometimes feels envy, um, envious or wants more or feels like they're lacking. OK, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But if you feel like you're lacking or that word need, if you find yourself saying need <laughs> a lot, that usually is coming from a low vibration. OK, instead, I'm seeing that you're going to be able to attract now soulmates because they will mirror you, but you don't want people to mirror you before you've released this stuff, right? Because then who, who are you gonna attract? You're gonna attract people who constantly feel like they need or are hard on themselves, etc. So yeah, we have the seven of swords, okay? So there's definitely some heartache here, some disappointment here, the two of wands, not knowing which way to turn. Um, this is where the trust comes in. All right, any more information on? what they need to let go of deck two shadow self wheel of fortune in reverse okay yeah you have to see that luck is on your side you must believe that luck is on your side getting closer to love unconditional love and what that feels like just just meditating on what it feels like okay it, it's so beautiful here but I see this dark version, right? And it's reminding me of just like this shadow version of who you're not. And the will of fortune is coming out in the reverse and it should be in the upright because that would mean that luck is in your favor, but you're learning to change your perspective. And there will be something that gives you a spark of hope that will help you do it. We have the third eye chakra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trusting and believing in who you are. The third eye chakra so this is a a pretty spiritual group i can see here so sp basically spirit is calling you your shadow self is calling you to evolve into the light the light is is uh the opposite of doubt the light is hope hope confidence knowing love peace freedom so your third eye is being awakened to what needs to be released so you will see what needs to be released because it'll be very heavy clarity of belief yeah, it's time to get back to the beliefs that bring you peace. Clarity of belief. What do you believe? Do you believe that you won't succeed? 
Okay. So there's some fine tuning that's happening right now, but you're doing an amazing job. Yeah. Love abounds. Love, love, love is coming in for you. Um, now what spirit is having you do is go through this transformation, getting closer to yourself. The closer you get to yourself, the more confident you become. And it's just like, you're this glass of pure water, which is hope and light, everything of the light. And all of that needs to re be released is just some of the, the spud, the spe specimens in the glass, right? You know, when you pour mud in there and it kind of rises to the surface, I'm seeing that that mud or what's in the water, which is your spirit, is just how you feel about yourself. Not you must know who you are without people seeing you and, and seeing who you are, your greatness. Okay. Cause if you wait for people to recognize your greatness, then you're waiting for them to see you before you see you. But spirit is saying now is the time to see you for who you truly are. And it's the doubt that you're releasing. It's being in your head about certain things. It's your beliefs, getting back, tuning, fine tuning your beliefs. All right now i see that you're manifesting so you're definitely manifesting unconditional love you're manifesting that through your uh your connections with people um more of like a soul tribe people who really resonate care about you support you we also have people who see you your vision your greatness and then we have the two of cups here okay so this would be a romantic connection that i see for those of you who have been going back and forth between making a decision of releasing someone in a relationship or someone who is single those are the people i'm talking to with this manifesting card yeah <laughs> i think that i'm pretty sure this is going to be the other half of you because we have two and it could be happening in 2022 we, we have spiritual union is the two we have two we have the magician we have ones and twos okay but are you open See, because if you if you talk yourself out of good things, how can you receive this good thing? So that's the biggest thing that your shadow self is is learning because your shadow self is not confident. None of our shadow selves are. It's our pretty much our worst critic is our shadow self and the version of us that is our small self, the version of us that um, gets in the way of our greatness, the version of us that we no longer resonate with. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, you're going through a rebirth. Okay, and what they're gaining, ripeness. Okay, this is also prosperity. So I definitely see um, when you find a job, you find a career, a passion that you love, the abundance is coming in. So whatever you love has this strong magnetic pull. Okay, and then also experience. So you're going to have a lot of experience here with just different experiences, okay, with people. I'm seeing people, um, there can definitely be some traveling here involved, but I'm just sensing that there are people that you're here to resonate with on a soul level that you are manifesting, but it's taking you releasing some of these people you have attracted, um, some of the beliefs that you have, some of the doubts that you have. Um, yeah, we have the six of swords burden, some of the burdens that you have believing that you owe people you don't owe anybody but yourself okay or doing it because you feel bad i don't know who i'm talking to but if you're doing it because you feel bad you shouldn't be doing it because you're going against yourself and that's why you're learning who you are you're learning who you are because when you know who you are you will never go against yourself okay by doing what no longer feels good even if you feel you have to and if you're questioning how the hell is it going to work out without you having to do it, that's also where the hope comes in, hope in your spiritual union. Spirit wants you to know there's a safety net, okay? There's there's more help for you. Um, so definitely been through a journey here and I see beautiful things happening. Learn to release also even your finances. Don't be afraid to spend, okay? They're, honestly, guys, this is feeling like a personal reading at this point, but don't feel like you have to hold on to something because you're so afraid that you're never going to get it again it could be anything including money here okay you must know there's an abundance you must know there's an abundance of love an abundance of money etc okay if you guys chose deck number two don't forget to comment down below thank you so much for letting me guide you all right i'm moving on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading in what your shadow self wants you to let go of 
black flower fragrance in masquerade okay let's get some more information here coming together so that's good heal daydreams and decisions so some of you could definitely be at a crossroads right now okay comparison five of swords definitely healing okay but the good news is that you are coming up as the magician you are coming up as a creator you are coming up as one in authority of being able to create the reality that you desire so that is really good you're coming together here with love but you're being asked to release the version of you in which you are not okay that's why we have the masquerade and also the black flower fragrance who you are not you're release comparing yourself to others you're releasing being hard on yourself you're releasing judgment of self you are learning to love all of yourself with the six of wands here there is going to be some type of public recognition after you make the decision to choose yourself 100%. And that can mean many things for you guys. We're going to get some more information. Okay, so you need to release the mask. The mask is who you have to be for others. Okay, we're learning that being authentic in this world is or can feel like a bit of a challenge at times but you're becoming more stronger in your identity of who you are and understanding that there are people that you are manifesting let's get the magician why is that here for deck three shadow so okay yeah so things are ending we have scorpio energy things are ending here for the purpose of a successful outcome so the healing is necessary so that you can receive because basically What's happening is if we protect ourselves too much, we protect ourselves um, so much to the point where we can become numb, not realizing that we have splinters that need to be healed. And usually like splinters are just things in your spirit that don't sit well. They just feel heavy. Okay. And so, yeah, you are definitely going through a transition and an ego death. Okay. Um, and it's crazy because there's not just one ego death. People think like, oh, I'm going through this ego death. No, this is a journey. Because remember, we cannot detach ourselves from this body and this mind. We are also ego. We're learning to embrace both versions of that, right? That's what I'm sensing for you. Deck number three, learning to embrace yourself 100% both feminine and masculine energy with the empress you're learning also how to release the doubt about your creativity and the success and the dreams you might be having frequently about where you prefer to be or where you could be so we have abundance coming in for you we'll talk about what's coming in so you're going through a death here the death of comparing yourself, the death of not feeling good enough, okay? We also have the Nine of Swords. Some of you could definitely be up at night a lot. Maybe you're dreaming. You could definitely be astro traveling. Um, there's many things you could be doing, but I'm sensing that your spirit is longing to create with the Empress here. Five of Swords again, okay? So yeah, there's definitely some healing. What are they healing from? deck three ordinariness it's almost like just accepting your greatness um and, and healing from those who couldn't and even um forgiving yourself for not believing wholly okay so that's another thing you're learning to let go of not believing in yourself and also the projections that you have of yourself okay so there's a little bit of being hard on hard on you um i'm definitely getting a lot of pentacle energy so you could be a Taurus, you could be a Capricorn or a Virgo, but we also have the sun here. Like the sun is still here, regardless of this death that you're going through. You're learning how to let go of the projections of yourself that are not true. Coming together with a more loving outlook, being more gentle with yourself. 
Okay, why is heal here so many times? Three times we have it here. Sorrow, something ended, um, something that you could be going back and forth on, certain decisions that are that are creating maybe some postponement with certain things, needing more clarity before moving forward with the decision here. But we have the sorrow, the nine of swords. Spirit is telling you to go with the flow. You are the creator, don't forget. So sometimes we go to higher levels and we forget who we are, okay? And it's so crazy because the discovery of self is a journey. Even with myself personally, I learn more about myself and then months to come, it's like, whoa, I know that too? Wow, like I can do this too? This exists too? And so this is a beautiful journey of discovering, but it has caused you to, I feel like many of you have already released certain things, okay? Now we do have the nine of swords here twice, which usually means letting go of depressiveness, letting go of sorrow, letting go of pain that has transpired, grieving. Some of you could be grieving a loss. Okay, so the healing, how can they heal? Spirit, how can they heal? Thank you, I love it. Completion, we also have the two of swords, which is the schizophrenia card, which usually means you're going back and forth between a decision, okay? Um, and maybe if you're going back and forth on a decision, it's usually because you're not following your intuition or there's no clarity of like knowing what the right decision and right decision is. And that happens sometimes as well. So we have the world card here. So how do you do this? You go on an adventure, you go on a journey, you let go of everything that you feel was important to you that is not bringing you happiness. And I know that's very broad, but it's starting with just your thoughts. If you can just start there with being a little bit more aware and it's like the exhaustion if some of you guys are not sleeping or if maybe you have a hard time sleeping for a long time, maybe you're up really early. Okay, maybe you're going through something with your sleep, something with your peace of mind. That's because there's a decision that has to be made. And until you make that decision, there's a lack of peace, okay, in your heart. Page of Wands. This decision is like to follow your curiosity. Sometimes it's adventurous to not know earth signs. <laughs> I know because I'm a Capricorn. So it's like, you know, even, you know, sometimes being drawn, you could be, or sign being drawn to a lot of fire fire signs and that's usually because there's a really good balance with the elements of fire and earth and so they kind of bring that curiosity out that's usually what the wands is it's fire you know get some fire and excitement in your life is what spirit is saying and that's what's coming you you are manifesting this you are manifesting a swift change okay and i want to get some more information on that we have harmony coming in for you. Harmony with just making the decision, making decisions and feeling good about them. Okay. What does deck three need to release shadow self? Harmony, I just said that. What? What? I just said that. Yeah. Harmony is what you're manifesting. Harmony with oneself. We have fertility. Some of you are birthing out new projects. Okay. Um, whatever this was that ended, I definitely feel like it was conflicting with, uh, it was conflicting with who you truly are or who, who you truly were. And so it had to be, it had to be released for the good. So this definitely could be a person, place or a thing. Let's get some clarity on why the five of swords the nine of swords and the death is here yeah there's some financial and material changes that are getting ready to happen for you i feel like spirit was just waiting for you we have prosperity begins it's very interesting because i hear that spirit is very particular about who receives sometimes based on who you're around for instance if spirit would have given you this blessing that's coming in before you may have given it to the wrong people you may have given it given your time to the wrong place okay could have been a job could be a thing 
you know it could be many things but it's definitely an ending that's happening here um and i i feel like there is a financial change here so this could be in your job let's look at the job thank you victory and success so you will have victory but it is requiring you to take a leap so what you're manifesting right now we have the magician here so this is the third time that the magician has come out what are they manifesting thank you okay the knight of swords something that's coming in very quick we have the king of wands and the emperor aries energy okay so this is good so you're manifesting a life partner if you haven't already okay if you already have someone you're going to find very soon if they are the life partner for you um and i'm sensing that there is there's a yin and yang here with the empress and the emperor so i'm seeing that spirit is leading you some of you to a life partner that brings balance because they're a part of your life purpose i feel like they're a part of whatever it is that you're doing there's a foundation of achievements we have four of wands four of wands twice that's harmony okay you're leading to so many great things and it unfortunately it took having to make room for this but there is no room you had no room in your life with all of this energy for all of this new energy to come in it's victory and success recognition some of you may be youtubers could be starting a channel either way i see that you're going to have public recognition and rewards after you make this decision which some of you i feel like you could have already made this decision so if you're getting out of a relationship or if you let go of a relationship recently you would be manifesting the partner that's actually equilibrium to what you are putting out but it's like <laughs> it's coming through this adventure it's coming through this adventure this travel or this expedition that you're getting ready to go on and it's it could be scary because it feels unknown it definitely feels unknown i'm surprised we didn't have the full card the king of wheels yeah so you're leading to some of you could be entrepreneurs ceos um this is paying off your hard work is paying off okay you didn't just release this or these people for nothing let's see what else they're manifesting last card Yeah, you guys are definitely birthing a new beginning um, and creating a new beginning, a new project, a new business, something that's going to bring you success, but you couldn't see it with all of this. So I feel like many of you are already going through the process of releasing this. Okay, when I say this, this is meaning what has happened in the past, the projections you have of you, um, the mask, the person you've been being around other people. You can tell when you're not being yourself and it feels like a chore or a job you know you're learning to just be your authentic self and and whoever you attract you attract but the good news is is when you're your authentic self everyone around you will be connected to you based on that you know not based on something else co-create my abundance mindset attracts endless blessings and she's holding the gold you were meant to be prosperous it's like you have this big treasure chest and it's been full of fake gold and spirits like can you release that so you can receive the real thing okay so it's even with the mask we we attract who we're being in that moment and sometimes we're not always being ourselves you know how we get a job interview and we change our voice and we change it you, you know we it's just it's who we are we can become a lot of people and so this is going to take a great deal of honesty, but I'm sensing that you are co-creating. Um, and it also says, I am the Oracle. My in insight and intuitive flows freely. So you are gifted. And these circumstances that you're going through, especially going through the unknown, has allowed you to strengthen this gift of intuition. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what your spirit or shadow self wants you to release and what spirit is going to be rewarding you with i guess i could say a reward because it feels like a reward okay spirits coming in with a lot of blessings and a lot of prosperity and achievements for the work you've done i feel like spirit is saying you've done so good you've been true to yourself you've been taking care of you um You've been thinking a little bit more about you and that's why we've come to this so yeah if you guys chose deck number three don't forget to comment down below if you guys are looking for some encouragement again on what you need to release just remember that releasing is just releasing there's no specific way to do it you just let it go
So I am moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is the message for what you need to release or let go of from your shadow self. Okay, your shadow self is saying that the child I was meant to be and sacrifice. So I see that spirit and your shadow self is holding on to someone, another. It seems like a lot of identity things are happening with this reading i'm finding that many of us in each deck are actually discovering more of who we are so spirit wants you to release what you feel has been a sacrifice okay so it's really coming down to have been feeling con uh, or connecting with people like i see that this is strengthening bonds connecting also um with people but i'm seeing that there's just like that maybe maybe downplaying yourself is what it feels like maybe downplaying who you are you've been sacrificing a lot of your dreams for other people's wants and desires that they may have had for you maybe because of a fear of being rejected fear of being alone i see that you're going through a, a space where you're strengthening your connection with allowing spirit to guide you allowing your guides to guide you i i feel spirit saying to spread your wings and fly to shine your light in whoever <laughs> whoever it burns or whoever it like blinds is none of your concern but spirit is saying to let go of like settling it's the word that I'm getting, settling or feeling like you have to sacrifice so much to be yourself. It's actually, it's an interesting perspective to feel like you have to sacrifice your dreams and being yourself for connections or, you know, whatever it may be. And I'm sensing here that actually you have been sacrificing your dreams when you don't have to. Um, now, it's not just your dreams. It's, it's some other things as well, like your greatness, being able to shine completely um and and being around the right people we have pisces energy we have stress okay these are the things that spirit wants you to release this is probably the first deck i feel like was like straightforward releasing the stress releasing the guilt let's see where the stress is coming from for deck four shadow self pay three of swords okay you see that she's very distressed okay so there's definitely a loss here or a fear of loss Okay, it could be a relationship with the four of wands. Okay. We have judgment. That's the first time judgment has come in. Wow. Some of you could have definitely resonated with two decks this time. Because I'm feeling like a lot of this is connected. Um, and wow, this is beautiful. You guys are manifesting so much passion and love in your life. If you haven't met your life partner or if you're with someone that has been on and off, I'm sensing that there is another person. Let's get, is this a new person? Thank you. Okay. We have a old relationship that's coming up. Eight of swords that maybe you've already let go of. Six of swords doesn't have to be a relationship, but I'm definitely sensing with the four of wands. Why is the six of swords here for what they let go of or what they're letting go of? two of swords yeah going back and forth on your decisions okay people places things take it how it resonates another card in love the higher font yeah i feel like there's a new person that's gonna spark your interest judgment is here this wouldn't be someone that you would know this would be someone that is spirit is bringing to you with the judgment in the higher font card okay this is more of a spiritual connection that you are manifesting nothingness we also have taurus energy here okay we have the higher font twice here so what you believe is very very important what you believe is very important is what i'm hearing because it's shaping your reality so letting go of beliefs that bring you stress that make you feel guilty too eight of swords is here so you would be this would be something mentally that you would be 
conflicted about, guilty, feeling guilty, feeling bad, feeling guilty, doing things because you feel bad. If I don't do this, that's what you're letting go of too, because I was just mentioning this. There's no truth to yourself in being authentic if you are doing things out of guilt. That's not a good place to do things. The great place would be because you're excited, you're passionate, you love it. That's usually like, okay, yeah, I'm in alignment. I'm following my spirit. So your shadow self is releasing guilt, okay? Where is this guilt coming from? We know this stress is coming from uh, dissatisfaction, moving forward, things that have happened in the past, making a decision, having to make a decision, going back and forth on a decision. But the judgment card is here, which tells me there's a huge spiritual awakening. So something occurred. And it's like, if you are overwhelmed with stress and guilt, spirit will step in for sure. Because the judgment card is here. So what, what's the guilt here for? What's the guilt here for? Eight of Swords. What is the Eight of Swords here for? For deck four? For what they need to let go of from their shadow self? Thank you. Fighting. Yeah, even being guilty for being great or being happy, you know, I just see that you're letting go of being in your head here. You see this energy here. These two are fighting this. These are thoughts. Okay, so the thoughts are creating guilt. And guilt and shame are actually two of the lowest vibrations on the energy, on the energy grid, the alpha energy grid. Okay, when you measure the frequency of that, it puts you in such a low state. Okay, some of you are breaking free even from religious beliefs, is what I'm hearing for some of you. The higher font is here, so I got to talk about it. Okay, the universe loves you no matter what. And I definitely feel like there's a strengthening bond coming through. You don't have to earn this. You don't have to be worthy of this. You don't have to deserve it. The love is going to be there whether you want it or not. So I'm definitely sensing your beliefs are shifting, you know, feeling bad or guilty about some of the things you're doing in this world or what will people say about it? Or what will people think about it? Okay, I'm a mother, I'm a father, or I'm a daughter, I'm a brother. I can't do this. I can't act, you know, it's really about caring about what people think of you as well, going back and forth in your decisions. Now, what else is the guilt here for? Because we have... Um, the 10 could be definitely some family things coming through, but we have the six of wands and I am pretty sure that came up in every single deck today, the six of wands. So many of you are releasing this. You see all this low energy, this dark energy here, sadness. He's, you know, looking away, not knowing where to go, boredom, you know, we have four of wands here though. So let's clarify that. Why is the four of wands here for deck four? the star Aquarius energy. Okay. So don't lose hope of the visions that you have for the future. Don't lose hope. Okay. We have integration, temperance, Sagittarius energy. You are coming back to yourself, your true self. You are coming back to the true version of you. What is the true version of you? Success. Someone who's excited and not also we have a little bit of being stuck on the past just a little bit here clinging to the past events that happened or didn't work out when there's so much to look forward to look at the dark right transitioning into even your integration is you know success we have all of this low frequency energy and then it's just like the star card is here okay so not losing hope not losing sight we have the judgment card okay which is spiritual very, very spiritual. This is like a calling on your life. And no matter what you do, you'll always come back to the same place. Okay. Of is there, am I bigger than what I'm making myself? Or is there more for me? If you're asking, is there more you're you're you've done the work. Good job. There's gotta be more for me. If you have a feeling that there's more for you, more love, more abundance, more passion, excitement, Okay. You're coming up as the queen of wands. You're very passionate and creative in a sense. You can create things. Wow. Empress, you're a creator for sure. A mother to many things, a father to many things. Okay. I'm seeing here the lovers, Gemini energy. You're definitely manifesting a life partner if you haven't already. Okay. In the world card. Wow. You guys could have definitely been trans going back and forth between 
three. I think it was deck three or deck two. Wow. Huge, huge blessings are coming in. Okay. I feel like many of you are waiting to see the grass become greener on the other side before you take some of these leap of faith. Take the leap of faith before you see where it's taking you. Take the leap of faith out of what makes you feel good. Okay. Because we have the world here. We have a lot of traveling. We have a lot of movement. Okay. Um, releasing low vibrational and letting go of low vibrational thoughts about what you believe you're uh, worthy of. Like, oh no, I need to do more to, to get that. Or I need to at least have a degree to do that. No. That's why you're coming back to who you were always meant to be. Okay, and let's see who that is. Who is deck four always meant to be? You're having a huge spiritual awakening. I'm telling you that right now. The judgment, the star card, the empress, the lovers, the hierophant, the world. Wow, you are just meant to be great. And I feel like spirit has been have a, has a calling on your life and has had one for some time. The seven sisters circle, sisterhood enriches my life. So people are a big part of your, your purpose and your path here, harmony with people. Okay, so you are meant to meet soulmates in this lifetime. Okay, we also have another, it's just crazy, deck four. I mean, there's nothing to be afraid of. Release everything that makes you feel bad. Release everything that makes you feel heavy, starting with your thoughts. Okay. And, and working your way down because all I see is success here. Success, six of wands. We have the six of wands here. Okay. I just see success when you come out of this place in your life. Cause I definitely feel like with the hermit, you could be a Virgo. You don't have to be, but I'm sensing that it hasn't been the easiest, but you've done the work. And I just see that there's an, a new adventure that you're going to be let go of the fear deck four. let go of the fear, let go of having to have control over what happens. You must trust and believe that when you take the leap of faith, you will land where your dreams are meant to, to have you land. Cause I'm just seeing that there's so much success here for you. Also recognition with the six of wands for whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, or you're working on. So as you're releasing some of these thoughts about yourself or, you know, whether you can believe in yourself, the stress, the worry, the guilt, it's like, you know, even feeling alone. Okay, that's the five of cups. We have the five of cups twice here. Okay, so not releasing regret. Ooh, that's a big one. Deck four. Every decision you made perfectly sent you here. And now you're here listening to this reading. And now you're going to go off on your journey. Every single thing that has happened in your past, make peace with it. It was for a reason. It's brought you to exactly this space. One little change, you could be anywhere else. Okay, so we have the hermit here. So I do feel like spirit is removing people around you temporarily so that you can see that you could do this on your own. So it's, it's not about punishment or anything. It's just, you can see that you can do this on your own. So this is a calling on your life. You can see that you can be independent and produce income for yourself. You can see that money flows effortlessly. You don't have to hold on to it too tight. Okay. You're seeing this for yourself, but I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be a, a need for a leap of faith so you can really see what you're capable of doing. So spirit wants you to take this leap of faith and into whatever it is. Now you'll know because it's going to bring you passion. It's going to be something that you been connected to all along could have been in the background as a child okay we're gonna get two more cards any other messages for deck four and what they need to release and what they're gaining power you're taking your power back by believing in your potential be believing in your greatness okay you're also manifesting family is what i'm hearing family family solitude yeah movement choices and decisions okay and wisdom and balance so you could be seeing 11 or you could be seeing fives but i'm definitely sensing that 2022 will be a big year for you whether you're here in 2021 2022 2023 it doesn't really matter but i'm definitely seeing that there's going to be prosperity there's going to be some type of soulmate connection there's going to be a new start a foundation Okay, and something that brings you hope. It's coming in very, very soon. 
okay you do have the wisdom and spirit is taking you through this journey so you can see that you can do it okay that's what this is about so if you guys chose deck number four remember to keep your you know release what doesn't feel good release the thoughts that don't feel good at least challenge them i always say challenge your thoughts by bringing them to the judge of truth is this true or am i choosing to believe it's true because you have the power you have the power to believe what you want to believe that's where your power is at deck four so even with your religious beliefs i'm seeing like there's so many things but if you could just get to a a clean blank slate and just start with love okay start with passion start with your desires and build from there and anything that's not in alignment with it will tell you what is out of place so if you guys chose deck number four this is your reading for what your shadow self wants you to let go of i hope i was able to give you some insight and some clarity on your situation beautiful things to come from for each deck honestly it's like as soon as i pull the cards and there's low heavy vibration it's like but there's a whole new side and so i love that about endings actually being beginnings that are kind of disguised so if you guys resonated with this video don't forget to like it and obviously become a part of the tarot tribe by subscribing in the meantime i'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading <music>